Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about linked list operations. So already we have discussed about linked list and its operations in previous lecture. In this video, mainly we are going to write algorithms for linked list operations. First one which we are going to discuss is traversal. So to understand this operation, let's assume that we already have a linked list in place. Linked list containing four nodes. So traversal is used in many cases like printing the data or searching for an element. So search is also one operation but inside search again we are going to use the traversal algorithm. And then if we want to add element at particular position again we have to traverse till that node right. So traversal is mostly used in these cases like add or deleting element at particular position. So now to understand traversal algorithm more clearly, let's assume that we want to print the content of the linked list. So how do we traverse the list and then how do we print it? Let's see that. So given a linked list, we already know what is the head of the linked list and what is the tail of the linked list. So in linked list, we are always maintaining two pointers. One is its head and other one is tail which is the last node. And at any point of time in a linked list, we always have what is access to check what is the next node of the linked list, right? So this means that to traverse the linked list, we always have to start with head node of the linked list. So how do we start it? So initialize a pointer currenter which is pointing at head of the linked list. So step one is initialize current to head of the linked list. If current node is not null, then print the data. So currently head is, current node is pointing at head and then it is 40, uh, 10, right? This means current node is not null. So if it is not null, then print the data. So we have to check if current node is null or not. If current node is not null, in step 3, we are going to print data. If this is the way we are representing the node of the linked list, so how do we print the data? We have given as value, right? Val. So print data by current dot val. Then what we have to do? We have to move our current node to its next node. How do we move it? Current equal to current dot next. So once we move to next node, again we have to do the same procedure from step 2 to 4 right. So once I move to 20, once my current points to 20, again I will print the data which is 20 and then move to next node which is 30. Again I print the data 30 and then move to next node which is 40 and again print the data 40 and move to next node which is null. So we, this process continues until we reach end of the linked list. So what we have to do here repeat. So repeat steps 2 to 4 until we reach end of the linked list. So this is the algorithm for traversal. The second operation which we are going to discuss is add or insert operation. So adding a new node can happen in three different places. First one is I am interested to insert at the beginning. And I am interested to insert new node at the end of the linked list or at some random position means I want to insert after 20. So these are the three different places mostly it happened. So how exactly we will do it? First one is we will talk about inserting at the beginning. To add a new node obviously we need to provide the value. So we will be creating a node with a given value. For example, I have a given value as 5. So I just created a node with a given value 5. And once we create the new node to form this should be part of our linked list means we have to form a link. So because we are interested to add at the beginning, so new cre newly created node dot next will become current head node. And because this is the first element of the linked list, the head has to be changed from 10 to 5. So first we are creating the linked list step 1. Second one, newly created node, next we are updating to the current head, step 2. And step 3, we are updating head node to the newly created node. This is the way we are going to 
add node at the beginning of the linked list. So what, what are the steps we have done? Step 1, create new node with given value and step 2, mark newly created node next to the current head. As we are adding at the beginning means this has to be updated to head. So update head to newly created node. So this, this is how we can add at the beginning. Now next algorithm we will write about add at the end. So we, we want to add at the end means 40 next currently points to null. There should be new node which we are going to create it. right? So here we are maintaining other than head we are maintaining one more node which is tail. So if we want to add at the end directly we have to make use of this tail and then we have to add at the end of the linked list. Let's see how we are going to do it. So even we want to add at the end first what we have to do. So first create a new node with a given value assume that 45 because this has to be end of the linked list and we have to insert this node as a part of linked list means our last node next should point to 45. So updated 40 next to 45 then currently tail node is pointing to 40 but after inserting 45 this has to become our last node. So update tail from 40 to 45. So what are the steps we have done first I create a new node then current last node next I pointed to newly created node then finally update tail node to newly created node. So let's write algorithm. Again as usual create new node, update, update current tail node next to newly created node. Then update tail pointer to newly created node. So after adding node 45 the linked list looks like this. So third one is I want to insert at some random position or after some node. So how the method signature looks like? add and then I am giving a position and then value. So for example assume that position is 4 and value is 25. So means I am in I want to insert at fourth position. So this is first position, second position, third position. Fourth position means between 20 and 30 I want to insert new node 25. So let's see how it will happen. So whenever we want to insert a new element at some random position, we always have to know what is the previous element and what is the next element. So for example, this is my previous node and this is my next node. The newly created node is here. Right? So then we have to, this previous element next to, we have to update to newly created node. This is my new node and then new node next we have to update next node and then we have to break this. So how we are doing it? Let's see once again. To insert 25 we have to know previous node which is 20 and next node which is 30 right. So to know the previous node means we have to traverse the list position one position minus one times means traverse the list first position minus one times. How do we traverse? We have already discussed traversal algorithm here. So we start with head node, we will we'll mark it as current node and then traverse the list three times. So this is first time, second time and third time. After traversing the list position one position minus one times. So currently my current node is at 20. Create a new node. So newly created node is new node is actually 25. So current node next is currently pointing to 30. Right? Current node next is currently pointing to 30. So from new node create a link to 30 and then break this one and then 20 next point to newly created node. So how we have done this? First one, we have to take a new pointer which is current node, initialize current to head 
and we have to traverse the list position minus one times, right? Minus one times. So th then we have to create new node. So what we have done, we have traversed the list until we reach position one minus times means this is step one. Once we reach it, we have to create new node. So this is step two. Once we create new node, new node next should point to the next element of the current node, right? So fourth step is mark newly created node next to current node next. Once it is done, we have to update current node next to newly created node. So this is how we will add new node at given position. So sometimes instead of giving position, we may get requirement like add after some node means add and then given some node and then we will be getting value. So if we get any time this kind of requirement, then only two, three, four steps has to be done. So we covered uh, three different types of add operation. Now let's talk about delete operation. So after performing add at some random position, how the linked list looks like. So delete also similar way we can, we may want to delete the first node and we may interest to delete the last node of the linked list or at some random position of the linked list. So first let's see how do we delete a node at beginning. I want to delete first node of the linked list means which is actually head of the linked list. So if we want to delete head of the linked list means what it has to be done head has to move to the next node right. So first update head to the head dot next and then this node we have to free up. Initialize current equal to head and then it next update head to next node. So once it is done, we just have to free up the current node. Languages like Java, so free of freeing up of current node automatically taken by the garbage collector. Few languages we have to specifically mention how to free up the current node space. So this is how we will delete at the beginning. So second one is delete at the end. For example, we are interested to delete last node of the linked list means which is tail node. So to delete last node, what we have to do previous node next we have to mark it as null. Currently this node next is marked to the current last node right. This has to be updated to null. But from at this position we can't get what is the previous node of this node. That means that we have to start from head and then we have to reach this position and then we have to update next to null. So first what we have to do? So traverse the list until we reach last but not one element, right? So this is the one. Once we reach it, what we have to do? Once we reach the node, we have to mark this node dot next to null. Means we are going to break this one. So this is step two. And Currently tail pointed to 45 node, right? We have to update tail to node 40. This is step 3. So to do this, what we have to do? First we have to initialize, initialize head to current. And we have to take one more pointer which is previous to maintain what is the previous element. For example, we are reaching end of the list means I am interested to know what is the last element, previous element. So currently previous element pointing to null. So second one, we traverse the list every time one node ahead. So traverse the list until current dot next not equal to null. Before updating uh, current, uh, we just update previous to current and current to current dot next. So once we reach end of the list means we know what is the previous element, right? So update previous dot next to null. Once it is done, we have to update the tail node, right? Update now tail node to previous node, tail to previous node. So once it is done, we just have to free up the deleted node. Which one we have deleted means current. So this is how we will do deletion at the end. So third one is deleted given position. So we are just giving position here. 
for example i want to delete a node which is at position 3 so what is the node at position 3 25 to delete node at any position we always need what is the previous node and what is the next node so just to to delete this node what we have to do this previous node next we have to point to 25 next node so to get the previous node what we have to do again similar way whatever we have done at, in this algorithm same way we have to perform the steps so let's see how we will do first we have to traverse the list until we reach position right so this is this is the node we are going to delete means we have to maintain one previous pointer also so initialize two pointers so first one current to head and then another one is previous so currently previous node will point to null only and then what we, we just have to traverse the list position times we are at this node means already one position we traversed this is second and this is third right during traversal what are what are things will happen current previous equal to current and current equal to current dot next so once it is done we have now what is the previous and then what is the current node also right which one we are going to delete so what we have to do update update previous node next to current node next so this is my current node and this is my previous node so previous node next i have updated to 30 right so means we have broke this links these two links current node next to null so this also performed we have current node so this is how we will delete at some random position so these are the three three different ways it can perform even delete operation so fourth operation which we uh, which we want to discuss is search so given a linked list we want to find whether a element exists in the linked list or not so for example this is the linked list so given that we want to know whether an element 30 exist in the linked list or not so to search an element present in the linked list or not first we have to traverse the list while traversing every time at node we in, we have to check whether the data of the current node matching with the given value or not so what we will do first step we have to traverse means we always have to start with head node so initialize current to head node and just same as traversal code only instead of printing the data we are just checking whether the value of the current node matching with given value or not so then what if current node is not null just we have to check it right so if current node value so current node value assume that we are accessing using current dot value is matching is equal to given value or not we will return we found the we found the element right return true if not the case means we have to move to next node right we find the answer means here itself it get exit else this is continue and then this will end when we reach end of the list so continue from steps 2 to 5 until we reach end of the list so this is how we are going to perform the search operation so these are the different operations which we can perform on linked list so using this algorithm i hope you can convert easily into the uh, code which is specific, which is specific to the language Oh, in next video we are going to write code for these algorithms using java programming languages i hope this video is helpful to you thank you for watching stay tuned happy learning